Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Thank you again for your company today. We are in the final segment of the show, and uh, I'm joined here by Dennis, of course. Uh, Karibu tana to the show, Dennis. Yes, How are you doing? How was yesterday? Uh, yesterday was fine. Yeah? Yeah, I'm Good, good. Yeah. And uh, today we have a nutritionist in studio as well. She's no stranger to the show. Her name is Faith Kamiri. Karibu tana to the show. Thank you. It's been a while. It's Trust been you've been while. keeping safe in this season. Keep being safe, doing my best. Yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> now, of course, Dennis is on his way to lose 100 kilos. He started off at 181, and yesterday marked a milestone for him as he uh, lost almost 10 kgs now. Uh, congratulations again, Dennis. Thank you. And uh, before we jump into uh, talking about nutrition and what he should be eating, because that has seemed to be quite a big <laughs> point yeah. uh, that his coaches have been bringing out. Many of you remember the first day Dennis came on here and working out and even as he continues, at least you're seeing his clothes are starting to get a little bigger he's, as he's losing the weight but um, uh, I was just thinking, you know what, it would be really nice to be able to get him something to wear that enables him to work out comfortably and with integrity with him not you know having to keep pulling up his pants or pulling down his shirt and so uh, I called up some designers here in the city and one of them his name is Bevan uh, actually partnered with me on this and together we've uh, actually had an outfit made and customized to Dennis's measurements so that he can be working out uh, well and comfortably. And um, my producer came on board with this as well, Carol, and she's actually going to bring on the outfit. <laughs> she's super shy. She's like, she's so scared and she's threatening me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Carol Pia made Shangia's story because we just wanted to make Gaya Misha Toroka Hayabasisawa. We just wanted to make sure that you're comfortable as you work out. And so we're actually going to release you to go change. Uh, I really pray it fits well. Uh, but you're going to go change as I catch up with the uh, nutritionist here. And then you'll join us at the end, um, of course, or just not just at the end, but a little later now, uh, so you. that you can hear what she has to say. All okay, right. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. Uh, off you go. Can you go that way? All right. In the meantime, uh, Faith, let's chat a bit about um, food yeah. and, and diet and yeah. how critical that is yeah. for weight loss. Yeah. Um, even his coach keeps talking about... Um, you know, the diet being very, very important. It is. It's crucial. So you could really do a lot of hard work sweat cry in the gym whatever it is that you're doing spend but hours if what we're putting spend hours exactly but if what we're putting on our plate is not good then yeah. we're actually defeating the work that we've done we are we have to support it because at the end of the day the body runs on energy and food is energy your body wouldn't make it on its own like you need to give it the basic resource like these are the raw ingredients mm. You know, just like in cooking, you need the raw ingredients. Mm -hmm. Go cook and come out with your product. So mm -hmm. if what you're giving in as your raw ingredients is rubbish, no matter what you do, you'll spend hours in the gym. You know, you'll do whatever it is. You're running and doing all that stuff. But one of the things is you probably won't have the right energy for your activity. Yeah. And so you always kind of feel like you're struggling or you're so tired the next day or you need two days to catch up and feel better. But also the results that you want, you won't see them, you know. So if you're trying to build muscle, if you're trying to burn fat mm. without the right nutrients, it's just so hard to do it. You know, mm -hmm. you're kind of working against yourself. So mm -hmm. nutrition really is such a strong foundation. Yeah. Um, just to get you healthy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was interesting because the other day, you know, Dennis shared with us that he'd been eating a lot of fruits and a lot of vegetables. Yeah. Uh, but perhaps even then the quantities of what he was eating were you know probably a lot yeah and it's interesting because i always thought you can eat however much of fruits and vegetables yeah that you want yeah but i yeah. guess not um with vegetables i give people free reign and because they have so much fiber it's kind of hard to overeat vegetables but then you know they are so low in calories they're very low in carbohydrates and so they... as long as you keep them that way we're not talking about cream spinach here yeah <laughs> yeah, so we're not talking about bringing in now, you know, sort of like pouring oil or that sort of thing. But a vegetable in itself is yeah. it's have as much as you want, as often as you want. The vitamins and, you know, nutrients that you're getting are so healing to you. Mm -hmm. With fruit, um, there's a bit more caution there because fruits also have fructose. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to vilify fruits because they have been getting 
some bad rap, you know, because yeah. you know everyone's afraid of sugar and yeah. then they get lumped up. So fruit, it's not the same because fruits have fiber. They also have vitamins. They have um, uh, minerals. So you need all that. And because they have fiber, they're digested slower. But it can be easy to overdo fruit. Mm. If that's all you're doing all day, then again, you are building up your fructose mm -hmm. um, levels and that you don't want to necessarily do. Mm -hmm. So one trick I give people just so that they don't have to overthink it is just keep it to the earlier part of your day. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've said that before on this show, but you know, you it's like have, you can yeah. have them in the morning, have them as a morning snack. But once you get to lunchtime, just start thinking about transitioning into um, now having other things, you know, now maybe having sort of like your nuts for your snack and that sort of thing. Really? But you don't want to, you know, once upon a time, the concept of weight loss was let me eat fruit salad all day, yeah. you know, um, you don't want to do that. So you want to kind of limit your fruit intake. So have some, but not too much. Okay. But you're saying do it in the morning. Yeah. 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 So do keep it for in dinner the... is not a good plan. You know, fruit ideally. Salad as dessert, do you... um, ideally, you know, if we're really trying to stay, I would say no. Mm. Yeah. So number one is because you don't want to sort of spike your blood sugar in the evening before you're going to bed. Okay. Um, and then not to complicate things, but also as we grow older, as adults, our metabolism doesn't, um, we don't fast. metabolize fructose as well in the later part of the mm. day. So we did really well in the first part of the day, but as the day goes on, we don't metabolize it as well. Mm -hmm. We start to metabolize sort of fats better mm -hmm. a bit later in the day. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, because there's always that saying of, you know, eat breakfast like a king, king. and yeah, yeah. lunch like a, is it a queen? Uh, yeah, like a queen. And then dinner, dinner like, like a, a pauper. pauper. And um, I guess that's where we've always thought that fruits would come in. Yeah. So what would be, a, I guess, a decent dinner for someone who's trying to lose weight? So what I do is I try to find what fits in each person's preferences. So that I'm not putting everyone in a box and everyone's feeling like stuck, like, oh, she said we have to do this. But whatever way you can keep it light. So for some people, I would say keep it to a soup. Mm -hmm. Um if you really need like a light dinner um, or just have a small portion of a normal meal you know okay. a balanced meal so you know you have your veg and you have some protein um, and you have some healthy carb yeah but keep it to a smaller portion okay um, if you find that you are really hungry in the evening and that you really need to eat more and more to fill up it's possible that you didn't eat enough okay. in the earlier part of your day okay you know so you'll probably find when we dig deeper that either you skipped breakfast or had like a quick tea and a small yeah. something yeah. and then you're at work or you're busy or whatever so lunch was quick or that sort of thing okay that usually is a way of knowing you know that probably this is why i'm so hungry in the evening if All i didn't right. eat well during the day okay yeah. yeah well guys dennis is back and he's changed welcome to the show again you look great <laughs> how are you feeling i love like the stripe <laughs> you know across the legs and the top here and yeah. of course, it says full circle with Joyce. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, very happy. I'm uh, Yeah? Yeah. Are you comfortable? I'm very comfortable. So now at least when you work out, you don't have to be worrying about your clothes, yeah. right? Good, good. I cannot wait for the day, Dennis, that we have to start taking this back for it to be reduced. That's yeah. the goal now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, well, again, I really want to shout out Bevan, uh, who came on board uh, just to do this with me. Uh, he's partnered, you know, as far as providing the outfit as well. He's changiered to that as well. Shout out as well to Carol Thuo, my producer, <laughs> very shy lady, <laughs> but uh, she's really helped out to this. And of course, to you guys, I think in many ways, you've been a big part of his journey and encouraging him. And now at least he can look good, you know, as he works out. So... I can't wait to see this outfit reduce in size. I really cannot wait for it. So, uh, Dennis, now we're here, of course, with our nutritionist. And maybe you can walk her through some of the things that you usually tend to eat. So, to kianzea subui ho na anzanini, breakfast unakula nini. Um, just so we can kind of get a good guide as far as how to help you moving forward. Yeah. Hi, Dennis. Hi, <laughs> uh -huh. So, breakfast ho unakula nini? Uh, breakfast mi ukunywa lemon tea. Okay. Yeah. Na uh -huh. nikipata kitu kama mkate toast bibi uh hivi. -huh. Yeah, brown bread. <laughs> Sasa, I it's just that you guys can't see the crew. His coaches, <laughs> Silas and Jeremy are sitting over there offset. And as he's saying at it was really what they were mecheka or may know which one on a menu zote waki checker. So it's the not a Dennis Amesama Nakuna na toast really. Are you telling me the truth, Dennis? 
Yeah, I'm saying the truth. <laughs> okay, I so know. what's My happening? Coach, what is this? <laughs> I easy, I mean. I have mean. Who trust? <laughs> 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 na hiyo toast tunakula ni white bread ama ni brown bread? Okay, nilikuwa nakula brown bread sana. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Na ni hizo mbili? Eh, hizo mbili. Na unashiba hivyo and then you go work out. Yeah. Ama unaongezea, okay, unaongezea na nini? Ah, ah, hivyo tu. Okay. Na naingiaza. Unaipaka siagi ama? Ah, kuna kitu napaka na ikuna hivyo tu kavu. Kavu, eh. Mbili. Yeah, what you do? Hata mimi hiyo nitasikia njaa, so nashindwa. Enjoy your harassing him. Yes. Oh, my harass. <laughs> <laughs> ah yeah, okay, that was before exercise or currently? Okay, before exercise. Before exercise. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell me about a breakfast like that because that's very common, right? It is uh, a maybe very people common. would do tea with milk. He's doing lemon tea. Yeah. Uh but you know, bread yeah. in the morning. That's yeah. a very typical it's common. And many of us grew up that way, yeah. Tea and bread or tea and something. And then it's easy, you're not cooking, yeah. you're not doing that sort of thing. Yeah. Um is it a balanced meal? No, it's not because even just from just quickly thinking about it, we can see there's no vitamins in that. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no minerals in that. I mean, we can say yeah, lemon water, but really that's more of water with, mm-hmm. you know, a better taste than plain water. Okay. But it is better. You know, I'm impressed because, you know, Dennis did give me a quick run through and I was asking him, how do you feel? You know, your cravings, do you have energy? And he's like, you know, I think I'm doing okay. Okay. Um, which I think speaks into his attitude, you know, to yeah, be willing. Sure. I think even just to be here on set, to be willing to share your journey with everyone already shows that your mindset is in the right place. And that's always the first thing yeah. for anyone, you know, no matter what you're trying to do, if your mindset is not in the right place, just to succeed is so hard. So already, Dennis, you've like achieved such a big milestone by having your mindset in the right place because sure. it's a long road yeah. that we are on. Okay. It's a long road that you're on. It won't happen, you know, next month or the month after that. So if your mindset stays that way, that's how you'll succeed. So what then um, is a good a good breakfast then? So I would want to bring in some protein. Um, and when you're ready, if and when you're ready, also I don't force, we work with each individual, mm-hmm. is I would take out the bread and replace it either with something like, you know, some doma or some guache, according to your taste. You know, some people I like say doma and they want to fall out <laughs> of the window. Like, what? So I'm like, it's okay. okay. But what we are fine, replacing an unhealthier carbohydrate okay. with a healthier one that's so going to keep your... So even if it's your, brown bread, you're saying there's still better options out there? There are much better options okay. out there. So the Cereals. difference between bread and, let's say, and doma. Mm. So sweet potatoes are root tubers. It's a complex carbohydrate. It's blo- broken down slower by the body. So your energy stays constant. Okay. Bread is just comes from processed flour. So it still spikes your energy, and then you're still going to have the energy crash. Yeah, so... Okay when we're balancing, if you can, and then sweet potatoes, it's easy, boil a few and then just keep them and eat them over. What about oatmeal? Oatmeal, again, also is good. Yeah, oatmeal is good. Meshaw, I jaribu oatmeal. Bado. So maybe it's something you could try out. We can try, um, you know, I can share a recipe. There are different ways of making it so that you find the one that fits your, appeals to your taste buds. Um, oatmeal is easy to improve you know we put in you know you can put in a bit of banana or a bit of fruit you know then we are adding things that make it yummier but also healthier okay yeah alafu pia deno so now we need to talk about snacks do you nasikia ati saila same kushitaki anasema tiwe huo unakula pakitinusu ya boflo yani sasa hiyo ndiyo snack naskari Napenda maskari na peremende. Okay, Tambo nilikuwa napenda skari sana, nilikuwa napenda kulamba skari. <laughs> kulamba. <laughs> kulamba skari aje. Unaenda unachukua juu. <laughs> eh, <Hey>, Tambo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Snacking is a big one. We need yeah. to figure out a good it's snack. It's a big one. It's a big one. Yeah, um, so we need to figure out do you understand I can say kulamba lamba skari then? How that's do we? True. And you know, kulamba that means it's um so when people are craving things, people fall in either sweet or savory. So yeah. either they want their sweet things, so, you know, peremende and those other things, but the other people who want savory, yani vitu ziko na chumvi. So yeah. for you, it sounds like clearly ni sukari, if you're even lambaying it. <laughs> um, so one of the things is, an exp- uh, you know, with, uh, with uh, Sila, we talked about it, but craving, it comes from the brain. Yani, it's the brain, it's si tumbo. Mm. It's your brain that's telling you, mini patia ikitu na nipatia sai, 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 sai. So you find that you can't even concentrate. Whatever you're doing, let me stop. I go find and then okay. I can calm down. Okay. So to reduce the craving, just know in your head that at the beginning it can be hard. But after a few weeks of practicing it, it gets better. It gets better. Okay. So in the meantime, a healthy snack, you know, yes, you can have the fruit. Yeah. I was telling Joyce just before you came back that 
fruit tunataka kukulanga more time of asubuhi yeah mm -hmm. uh, but as the day goes on in the afternoon if you like nuts sijui kama unapenda yeah njugu uh, then you can now start snacking on nuts that also helps to you, for you to feel fuller for longer okay um so those are good snacks to have yeah all right mm. uh, our time is really running out so i want us to get to lunch and dinner very quickly deno who are lunch na chakula jioni huo unakula nini mostly before ni anza ku train nilikuwa nakula mostly at supper nilikuwa nakula ugali mhm na umena mm -hmm. skuma mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. na lunch lunch uko unapata okay lunch tuseme kwa ngumu juice pendangi kula lunch upendangi kula lunch pendangi kula lunch na sasa hii uki train okay sasa hii niki train nikimaliza training na kula one meal okay per day one meal per day yeah all right so you're trying to do a calorie deficit i guess yeah. is that is that is that a good way to do it so um no Mm. You don't want to starve yourself too much in the name and it's common a lot of people will really cut down on their foods when they want to lose weight mm. lakini like ukikat down too much what happens is also your metabolism it has slow down kabisa because it thinks now maybe it's a time this food scarcity so let us just shikilia everything because your body needs to function so what you're eating in as idea your heart to beat your blood to move around your liver to function so if there's not enough energy in a slow down kabisa so that your organs can continue operating mm. so what we want is not to starve you like you need to make sure what you're eating is healthy yeah yeah so we don't want you to skip lunch because actually you'll say that you're only eating one meal but for sure if you really look at angalia that's the day that you lambad sukari or that's the day that you ate you know a lot of bread kwa sababu there's a point where your body just needs something so utaenda ku snack kitu kingine okay. so it ends up not really being one meal okay yeah. wow eh uh, unfortunately our time is up in fact some of you are saying hey Joyce my ideal segment is the weight loss journey with Dennis Aki Joyce uh, we know you are darling to your fans and so i'm requesting that you expand the weight loss segment so that i can also join and also add gender balance you say uh, you are 103 kgs and you're 26 years old um you think you will woo me with sweet words if that's what it takes that <laughs> sarah watching from nairobi um okay i i don't know how we're going to do that we'll have to talk with the producers and see but uh, thank you for that feedback someone here says they love the morning quotes the different inspiration mentors who come the diy segment dennis's journey to lose weight and uh and myself thank you very much for that another saying they got their five masks yesterday that's juma from pipeline thank you very very much maze time yangu imesha yote lazima Dennis atu, today you're going to be a model lazima tuone hii outfit vizuri si ukanyaga hapa mbele katikati <laughs> wacha tukuone vizuri tukimalizia eh eh turn around for us <laughs> utuonyeshe sides <laughs> you look good man thank you <laughs> he looks very good and with that said guys we do need to wrap up the show i don't know which camera on here there we go we do need to wrap up the show Wambi next week utakuwa hapa Tuesday si ndio? Yeah next week nitakuwa hapa Tuesday na let me assure you next week nitakuwa nimekata 10 to 7. Haya haya basi sawa asante. Thank you so much to you as well Faith. Thank We you. do appreciate you and to yeah. all of you for watching. Let's meet you again tomorrow for even more full circle with Joyce. See you. Ciao.